is on watch, and right now we're going to be have the closest point of approach with that ship that we just showed you on the AIS. It's a big ship out there. It's across our bow, about two miles away. We've seen two ships, one fishing boat, and one sailboat. So if you think you're alone out here, you're not. That's a biggie. Morning is very overcast. We have a nice 12 knots of wind, and we're sailing 5 knots in the course of a 3 0. Called Straits of Van de Fuca. We're having beautiful sailing all night long. Although we didn't do much, only about four, four and a half knots. But under very pleasant conditions with very light winds. At least we are moving the right direction after two days of calms. And finally have a steady wind that lasted yes. not quite 24 hours yet. But. Yes. It's not exactly very sunny out, but it's still pretty nice. Here's the ship that Julia spotted didn't show up on our AIS and now it just a minute ago it just the alarm just went off he's only a mile and a half away so I don't know why exactly the alarm went off at such a close distance but uh, too close for comfort he's traveling 12 and a half knots yeah and he deterred because otherwise you were in a collision course sailed into a, kind of a little bit of a fog bank sun overhead and it's just dissipating right now but there's a like a fog rainbow out here right there still out, and when you look in the water, you think, I don't know if you can see, but there's thousands and thousands of these little jellyfish with their sails up, as far as you can see. And here's a fine looking bread she has made it this morning. Let's take a closer look. Today the cook is feeling very benevolent towards a captain. So for lunch I made something called sandwich geese. Basically it's some fresh bread with slices of ham, a little bit of grated cheddar cheese, some sliced hard boiled eggs, little slices of bell peppers, and the crowning touch, a nice big piece of pickle. Pickle's an important part of this thing here. Here we go. Up the ladder. That's what I made for lunch, Julius. Sandwich keys. All right, that looks good. You like? Those but are for both of us, though. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. Let's come and eat then. Okay. All right. It's 7 p.m. I'll try to go sleep to get a sleep till about 9:30, two and a half hours, and at 9:30 I will get up and go on the watch, so Susan can sleep from a. Uh, 9.30 till 2 a.m. At 2 a.m. she would get up and go on the watch and I would go back to sleep till 5 a.m. And then 5 a.m. I will take over the watch again. This way works good for us because Susan uh, doing day cooks and uh, do other kind of chores. Okay, so now my eyes getting tired, heavy, I'm gonna go sleep. Good night. Well, we finally got our westerly winds. We're at about latitude, what, 46, 45 north, and um, they've been a long time coming. <laughs> so we've got about 15 knots right now, and we're on our course of 72 degrees, right towards Straits of Juan de Fuca. We've got about 500, 550 miles left to go. boat's nicely balanced. We just have our roller furling jib out and our mainsail doing about five and a half to six knots. Very, very comfortable. Every evening we put a rip into a mainsail so you don't have to do it in the middle of the night and wake up the other person from their sleep. In the morning uh, we take the reef out and increase the sail area uh, for the day.
somehow it always works out and after midnight it gets squally weather and we are always very happy that we have a reef in already and we don't have to deal with it in the dark. About 47 north and 135 west, roughly. Uh, last night we had no wind for a full 24 hours. Yes, actually yesterday and into this morning. And now the wind's just just starting to kind of pick up, but it's still maybe five knots. So we're motoring, and we have this up ahead of us, this big ugly cloud bank, which might be holding back our winds. I don't know. So we're going to try to get through that and see what happens. It's about 6.30 in the morning. And uh, we were hoping for some nice westerly winds, but it's just not happening. We had one day of westerlies, full 24 hours, and then they just fizzled out. What can you do? So we both got to sleep last night. It was kind of nice. There's Jules in the cockpit. Yep, the sails are down, and we're powering, and our autopilot, our autopilot fizzled out halfway through the trip, and so now when we power, we've got to sit behind the wheel. That's why we have not been doing too much powering. We have 400 miles from uh, Cape Flatteries, straight to Van de Puka. So if everything goes good and we got some winds, maybe four days, you should be there. Yay! I'm all dressed up. Action. <laughs> we think this squall in front of us blocking all the wind. So we just gotta, we gotta wait till uh, we go through or clear out, and then uh, hopefully there is a sun on top. So actually, day looks pretty nice. Just we have uh, some uh, rain clouds out here. Powering is very tedious. It doesn't last very long. I'm getting tired of the rain. Trick at the wheel. Full rain gear. Boots. No, but you're ready. I've been raining just a. It's kind of cold out, actually. Yeah, been a, it's a big difference from Hawaii, huh? As we were motoring along, all of a sudden the engine just cut out. This is what we picked up here. I have no idea how we're going to get it off. Maybe going diving. The boat, the wind's just picking up too. Yeah. So, totally wrapped around our propeller. I'm trying to slowly winch it up and cut it off without doing any damage. Julius has been leaning over the side of the boat for a while here, cutting it. And so far we're getting a lot off, but we've still got more there wrapped around our propeller. Hopefully we're going to be able to get the whole thing off. It's amazing, what a mess. Have fun, huh? Some people catch fish, I know. and some people catch netting, Shit. but it's all a part of a fishing business. Yeah. We need to get one of those things that you put around your shaft that cuts nettings and things like that. Well, luckily we have a little wind, oh, it's slowly it. sailing. Here's a big portion of it. Cool. Okay, yeah, we'll leave store it here someplace and, yes. and uh, throw it away in the harbor. After getting most of the uh, 
netting off. Here we are to 47, 27. Susan's getting ready to go dive on the bottom to cut the rest of the netting around the propeller. Okay, Susan, so you ready? I'm ready. All right. I, got, go. I gotta get off so I can help her. All right. Mm. Diving on the propeller. Here, in the ocean, 360 degree view. Susan just got out of the water. That was amazing. It's cold, she said. It reported much colder in Hawaii. But luckily, she was able to un untie the uh, netting. Do you have anything to say? No, I'm just happy there's not too much wind right now. I wouldn't be able to do that one. All right, so uh, not having wind it came uh, handy, but then again, if there was a wind, we would not be powering. Okay, signing off so you can help Susan go into hot shower. After the ordeal with the netting attached to our propeller, cutting it out and you dropping overboard, we are very, very happy that we took care of the problem because we wouldn't want to approach the Straits of Juan de Fuca with an uh, engine broken down. Well, today we finally got our westerlies. We're about 300, a little more than 300 miles from Cape Flattery been a long time coming, so it's been a pretty nice sailing day today. Yeah, although it's very light, only maybe at 12 knots. They're forecasting uh, uh, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, to pick up up to 20, maybe 25 knots. So They've been steady today. Okay. Yeah, but at least we had a steady all day long, and uh, we have about three more days, depends on the wind, to get into Nia Bay, Washington. We're running with a full mainsail. And now in front of Staso and Yankee. It's a very calm day. Either most of the day sunny. Susan made some fine food, so he can't really complain. Now we're having tea time. And now we have a tea time. It's uh, 10 minutes to 5 o'clock. All right. So it looks like I'm not going to go hungry today again. Here is one of my favorite dishes Susan prepared, and I gotta let her tell you what is it. Well, tonight we're having for dinner. Mmm, it's a shrimp with miniature bell peppers, toasted walnuts, and rice. Julius enjoys it very much, and that's what we're having for dinner out here in the middle of the Pacific. You forgot some spices, some onions, oh, a little chopped up. Style, of course. Chunks. Okay. Of course. That's gonna look a like very, very yummy dish. Okay. Hey. Enjoy it! And believe me, I will enjoy it, especially the shrimps. Nice big shrimps. Okay? <laughs> okay. Hi! Okay guys, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a comment and a thumb up. We love hearing from you. And before we leave, we'd like to thank all of you that support our channel through Patreon and PayPal. We really appreciate your support, guys. And we will see you all next time. Bye-bye!